Hey guys, this is Fiend Fairy Night 1, and I'm talking about Sony's state of play. Yes, apparently Sony is having a state of play tomorrow, and this state of play, according to IGN, will serve up updates and deep dives for 10 games coming to the PS4 and PS5. Alright, so that sounds good. Hopefully it's like 10 new games. It's kind of weird though that this state of play would come like a week after Nintendo's Direct, but also it's the same time. <laughs> it's 5 p.m. on Thursday. Now, I realize the Nintendo Direct was Wednesday, but still, it's the same time. It's 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. In any case, it is good to see these, you know, companies breaking out these showcases. And right now, I think Sony and them especially really need one. In fact, Nintendo probably needed the Direct the least, I gotta say. You know, the Switch has been out for about four years this March. So, it doesn't need, really, in my opinion, to establish itself more. Yeah, the directs are nice because they're nice to sometimes get some new games and some insights, but Nintendo right now, it could just, I'm not going to say coast. It has to definitely keep up because it's still way behind in power, but it's already established. It's, it's sold around 80 million units already. So in, if anyone needed these like directs or showcases, it would be Sony and Microsoft because right now the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series X especially, don't really have like m many games that actually are just for them or in general, like many PS5 or Xbox Series X games, especially the Xbox Series X. In any case, good to see God willing, they should be having this state of play tomorrow at five and talking about 10 upcoming games. Hopefully they're all new games, or if they're not new games, maybe they're games that they already talked about that they at least are gonna give more insight to. Maybe Hood Outlaws and Legends or something like that. I'm not gonna lie, that game looked interesting to me. But in any case, what do you guys think is gonna be at this Sony state of play? And do you guys think all the 10 games that IGM were talking about are gonna be like new announcements? Or do you think they're gonna be more so talking about games they've already announced and going into more detail and maybe giving some release dates? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.